Egypt. What do you in want Egypt. from us? What? What do you want from us? What do you want? Um, Egypt, what do you want Egypt, from us? Egypt, what do you want from us? Okay. <laughs> So, yeah. so, yes, the people are revolting here. Of course. They, they are, are saying they want more from us. More? What I said, what do you want? What else can What do you want? We got sand. Want? We got pyramids. We have landmarks. I mean, what's a bigger <laughs> landmark than a pyramid? We got a, we got a whole river. <laughs> it's a big river. Did you know Napoleon used that sphinx as target practice? He shot the nose off. That's why it's gone. Uh, they say they want health care. <laughs> Okay. They say they want a fair system of government. You will all eventually die from heat stroke, even though by birth you should be, like, you know, able to live in this environment. You're really not. You're gonna die from heat stroke. Pharaoh! You're not hearing me well. I'm sorry. Who are on. you talking to? I'm talking to the masses as if they're in the room, but they're not allowed in the palace because they're dirty. Though they're right outside the door, they're beating it down. <laughs> Let them beat it down. <laughs> they will in about five minutes. Let them make bricks without straw. Bricks without straw? Bricks without straw. What does that mean? I don't know, but it's funny. <laughs> I went over your plans for the next quarter of government activities. Can you read it out to me? Because I like to hear things that I've written read out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, make the tops of the pyramids shinier. Mm, now, won't that cause one. plane crashes? Yeah, of course it will, but don't worry, there won't be planes for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, to control the weather issue, paint the sand white. Yes, because I would love to think that we were all surrounded by snow. But it's not, it's hot! Yes, but if it's white, people's imagination will expand wider. <laughs> I know this, I studied psychology, ancient Egyptian psychology, yes, but it has its own merit. <laughs> Go on. Number three, decrease the population by 32%. We have them slave themselves away, building statues to me, eventually many of them will die, economy goes up. That's not going to work. It will. What if the people decide to leave? You know, people can't be slaves anymore. Then we'll have more money for me to spend. That's your idea? <laughs> That's Turn why. them into slaves so they'll leave? That's why I became Pharaoh, yes. <laughs> I don't want any part of it. Don't just let it drop. You grab it when I put it in your chest. <laughs> you do it one more time. I need preparation. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all full and bloated on dates and other Egyptian food type things. <laughs> Those Egyptian citizens are about to come in here, and when they do, they're going to tear you apart, and I'm going to let them. How can you be so ready to betray me? You said you would be buried or fixed. Betray you? That's what you said. I was the one who got you into this position before. You killed many, many people to get here, and I helped you. And your father, the king, as I faked your birth certificate to say that you were a slave. <laughs> but I told you. That I would be a much, much better pharaoh than you, and eventually I would make you the Grand Vizier. And that is not yet happened. I claim my right as you, Grand Vizier! But you can't be the Grand Vizier until you kill the other Grand Vizier, and... Who is the other Grand Vizier? I don't know. He went on vacation four months ago, and no one's seen him since. Do we assume he's dead? No. Well, what if he never comes back? We are very ancient peoples. We must always assume that even if you're gone for 12 or 13 years, it's just an extra long lunch break because the food you wanted was far away. Smoltering in here. What if I travel to wherever he is and lie about killing him? You can't do that because he's ridden out on vacation. I killed him myself. You! Yes. So give me the Grand Vizier! No. <laughs> If I make you Grand Vizier, then everyone will know the old Grand Vizier is dead, and they will look underneath my throne and find his dead body. Uh -huh. and I'll me. look underneath your throne. Don't do that because I just told you he's there. I will look underneath <laughs> your throne. What? You don't need to look. His dead body's already there. <laughs> what the hell did you do to him? I mummified him and slightly. I, I don't really know how to do it. You're a tyrant. <laughs> I, yes, I, 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 I rule Egypt. You deserve acid spit from a straw. Do, why would you spit acid through straw at So me? that it will get on your face and cause you to die. Well, you deserve having scarabs crawl all over your body and eat your flesh. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah, well, you, yes. you deserve a pyramid to be dropped on you. Oh, do I? Well, do I? Well, yeah. You deserve raw burning his initials in your forehead. <laughs> 
You deserve a giant machine grabbing you by the legs and ass fucking the thinks. <laughs> That's what you deserve. What's a machine? <laughs> You're two behind the times. I've been. Hold on. Yeah, I'm with them now. Yeah, he's not. Hold on. Can you hear me now? All right. Yeah, he's not budging. You guys go ahead and break through the uh, door. I'm gonna try to spit some acid on him, and uh, we'll end up killing him. But I want to be Pharaoh. Okay, you can be Pharaoh. That's what the people want. <laughs> So that was no one. Um, that was certainly not anybody at the door wanting to burst in and kill you. Look, I've understood what you meant by a machine. I've made this simple instrument while you're on the oh, phone. Oh, what, what does that do? It's a wedge. A wedge. It's a machine. <laughs> right. And you're going to put that with your uh, your rope and pulley over there and try to do something. The rope and pulley are my personal property. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ben, ben, ben! 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 Come on in! Come on in! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Toes kicking me. Oh, 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 your feet are dirty. Oh, I die from shame. Oh, oh. Prepare the Sphinx's asshole. Grand Vizier. Are you prepared to be Grand Vizier? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be Pharaoh now. Son of a bitch. We don't have any other Pharaoh. We've Kick that pharaoh to death and I'm not dead yet! <laughs> oh. So I shall do it. And I shall bring in a new glory age for Egypt. An age where we join the world as a first class country. Um, 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 uh, <laughs> no one really wants to come to Egypt or be tourists in Egypt or anything even like that. Uh, yeah. We got this new Black Sabbath soundtrack. <laughs> Enjoyable as it may be, but that is from the alien ship that built our pyramids, Lord. And right. They are flying off in about 20 minutes because they're done and they're going. Um, at least by tomorrow they'll be gone, so. Uh, well, Egypt sucks. No Black Sabbath, and. Um, but! Uh, I could put on this, um, this coyote head and tell everyone I'm a god. And uh, go boogity boogity. <laughs> you do that. I'm gonna go cause a terrorist act. <laughs> oh, God. And that's Egypt. <laughs> Yay! Oh, government. Yay!